We go on the air in 15 minutes! Now go find me some wildlife for my wildlife show! Yes, Helga. Anything you say, Helga. <sighs> hmm. Someday the star will say Monty, host of Monty's Magical Wildlife Show. But not today. The pie's particularly good today. Hold on. You're a wildlife. <laughs> Nothing's wilder than a penguin. Penguins just love fishies, and this will be the perfect bait. Life is so gullible. Helga! Helga! I got me a penguin! And it's got a little hat! I like that! Let's shoot it! Money! Back in a flash. The gumbo's decidedly delish. Well, good thing I didn't recommend the sampler tray. Oops. Get the penguin. Forget the penguin. Let me make this easy for you, okay? Get me the polar bear! Offer him anything he wants. All the food he can eat. Just get him on the show! Or you're fired! I could host a better wildlife show than Hollywood Helga any day. Sorry, Penguin. Helga wants the polar bear. No can do, Penguin. The polar bear got the nod for Helga's show. You know, you are one persistent little penguin. I'd put you on my show, if I had one. That's right, you'd get a TV contract and all the food you could eat. Why, that's downright Machiavellian, Penguin. You'll go places in Hollywood, I can tell. Perfect. We're live in five, Ma. 
Marty! Marty! Do I have to do everything myself? This is Helga's Wilderness Show. Today we'll meet a polar bear up close and personal. Marty! So long, Helga. Hello, Monty's Wildlife Show. Marty! 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 You're fired! Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, no, that's Today, Monty's magical wilderness show will visit a very special penguin at home in his most comfortable setting. We search for the truth behind the legendary fur-bearing trout. This week on Apparently We Don't Know. Fact, fiction, or just really bad fashion statement? Apparently, we don't know. Because of its hairy hide, the fur-bearing trout is only found in cold climates. It could be in northern Canada, the Arctic Circle, or even outside an igloo. Research shows the fur-bearing trout feeds on clothing to support his own fur. The fur-bearing trout feeds on clothing to support its own fur. Yeah, it's all fun and games till somebody loses an eye with these things. Oh, and uh, thanks for the hat, bub. Gotta watch your hygiene there, bub. There's critters living down here. business to run here. You gave up all rights to that hat when you used it for bait to try and catch me. I can't be giving it back. This ain't no lost and found. Trout's work is never done. Trout season's over, kid. Didn't you get the memo? What a mess. Are you nuts? This is a genuine... Whoa!
nervous, some people. Listen, Bub. I need this coat in order to run my business here. Well, since saps like you think I'm the fur-bearing trout, they try to bait me with all these items of clothing. This coat is the key to the clothing empire you see before you. Without this coat, I'm just some old trout heading upstream for a good time. So, you're gonna have to stick to your own gig, bub, and leave me to mine. See you around, small fry. And action! We thought for sure his fur amongst all this snow would make him stick out like a sore thumb, but apparently, we didn't know. Huh? Listen, bub, I thought I told you to scram. Doug Nuts is here with his film crew to shoot an expose that will broadcast tonight on an exclusive pay-per-view that will air all around the world? Operators are standing by to take your order? If they find me, I'll be ruined for sure. You know what they do to fur-bearing trout imposters? Well, it ain't pretty. You gotta help me, little buddy. Come on, what can I do? The coat, you're right, the coat. Take it and get out of here. Just take it. And some of these long johns, too. I'll be back, though. They can't keep Lefty the Trout out of the clothing business forever. No matter what the law says. So far, no sign of the little devil. But wait, what's that? It can't be. Ladies and gentlemen, thought to be extinct since before the Jurassic era, it's the fur-bearing penguin! Oh, uh, Mr. Penguin, wait. We'd like to ask you a few questions there. M Mr. Penguin? Hello? Come on, crew. Uh, hello? Stay on him. Stay there. A, a word, focused. please, Mr. Penguin. We'll get a reverse angle later on. Hey, buddy, you're letting all the heat out. You know how much it costs to heat this can? Look, unless you're paying the bill, keep the door closed. Yeesh. Hey, hey, watch it. You could poke an eye out with that thing. Hey Ready to fish, boys? Come on, let's get out of this ice box. And now, a special message from Clive's Cut Rate Bait. Are you hungry? You got the hook in a paw? Well, if you can't catch your next meal with Clive's cut rate bait, it can't be caught. And if you're not satisfied with cut rate bait, send it back and I will send you some bigger or better kind of bait absolutely free until you catches a fish. Introduce you to the items in your starter kit. First, our cut rate bait catalog, and next, my genuine fish fly larva, and finally, my trusty incubator. First, you ought to put them critters inside so they can mature properly. <laughs> Now you ought to teach them flies tricks so's they can get the fish's attention and lure them your way. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Next, you ought to feed them critters so that they grow big. Now you are ready to catch a fish with these here flies. No, please! You raised us! You fed us! You taught us to do this! <laughs> Don't give us the hook! Oh. Here. Who do you think you are, huh? Don't interrupt me. I mean, hello in there. Do you see a pattern here? Like something to do with the bait? Look at the catalog, page 12. Each time you send a bait back, you get a bigger piece of bait, right? So send me back and Clive will send you a bigger bait fish. One big enough to eat. Get my drift? And if you're not satisfied with cut rate bait, send it back and I will send you some bigger or better kind of bait absolutely free until you catch you some fish. Another return? Oh, uh, who is this chilly guy anyway? He's breaking me. Every bait I send him, he sends back. I've gone through every darn bait I know. Hey guys, huddle up! Break! Only bait left is penguin. He can use it for catching a whale. Only I'm fresh out of penguin. <laughs> Boy, there's nothing more satisfying to me than a satisfied customer. As head headhunter of this here operation, I live by the headhunter's motto. If you want them, we'll get them. Required immediately. One penguin for placement in beautiful tropical Montezuma Zoo. Beg money to find her. It's a penguin, all right. Mush! Stop the 
sled! Start the sled! I got him! Mush! I always get my man. What are you stopping for, pub? Mighty large pair of underwear for such a little feller. Ah! This'll stick him. <laughs> no, no, there are laws against this kind of thing, you know. Isn't that thoughtful? Mmm, lapso apso oolong, my favorite. A little cream and lots of sugar. Mmm. I'm out of here. Look, kid, cut me some slack, will you? This is the offer of a lifetime. All I want is to take you to this tropical paradise. It's all expenses paid and tax deductible, plus all the fish you can eat. All right, all right, you can drive. Now, will you go with me? Phew! What a workout! Woo! 
<laughs> the hat hunters are finally here. We got the tank all ready. It's set to sub 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 zero temperature and comes with its own iceberg for the penguin. So, which one is the penguin? <laughs> But no, it's it's it's. To quote my great granddaddy when he was taken into captivity. Ah! 